Thank you. Thank you so very much, Chet. And I'm really proud to be here with all of you today. And I want to again thank uh, Chet Hewitt, CEO of the Sierra Health Foundation, and Dr. Ross of the California Endowment for your tremendous support. And I want to thank the San Joaquin Valley Health Fund for putting on this event. Now, I represent the, uh, uh, the capital here in Sacramento, so welcome. Welcome to the People's House. I'm very thrilled to have you here. Today, we are here to stand up for, for a golden state for all and for equity for all here in the state of California, especially in the Valley. Your focus on health, education, environment, and land use planning is what we need to be sure we continue to move forward, and this needs to continue to be a grassroots effort. Everyone in California and the Valley deserves clean water, clean air, and a pollution-free environment. And certainly as a physician, as a pediatrician, I know the importance of access to care, especially for our children. And I've worked throughout my career to help secure care for children, regardless of their immigration status. Now, we're facing some struggles. Uh, we have some challenges out in DC. We have a federal government or president, a GOP Congress that doesn't uh, quite understand what we need to do to move forward sowing divisions. But here in California, we're going to be carving our own path. And I know that you are going to help us lead in that path. Thank you. Thank you. We do have challenges here in California. We have disparities between different regions. We have disparities between people of different racial and ethnic communities. And we need to eliminate those disparities. So I was proud to support uh, SB 54, the California Values Act, to protect our immigrants. Thank you. But as we talk about a golden state for all, that means that we stand up for every Californian, every Californian. And that includes no matter where in California, what their origins are, what their race, ethnicity, their sexual orientation, gender, we all stand together. So I'm proud to be with you here, to celebrate equity on the mall. I also want to thank and know that this is something that's happening because all of us collectively here in the building and here at the state capitol, my colleagues who are here, I also want to particularly acknowledge, I know he'll be speaking to you very shortly, uh, Secretary of State, Alex Padilla, who's been a true champion and trying to be sure that we protect our political rights, okay? Because as Martin Luther King said, you know, the first thing is you got to vote, right? We got to have the vote. And he's out there being sure that that happens so that we can continue to have our voices heard and that we are going to be sure that our voices make a difference. So thank you so very much and proud to be here with all of you. Thank you.